Hi, today's question is uh, green color blind. Hi, today's question is red green color blindness in humans is due to an X linked recessive gene. A woman whose father was color blind possesses one eye with normal color vision and one eye with color blindness. Propose explanation. And uh, we know that color blindness is X linked recessive gene. So her father possesses this gene and uh, he has two uh, sex chromosomes, X and Y, and he doesn't have uh, other X chromosome to compensate uh, with normal gene. So as long as he has uh, one defective gene here, uh, this uh, color blindness would be expressed uh, in her father. So her mother has uh, two normal chromosomes and uh, that means her vision is normal. So her father only can transfer X chromosome to her daughter and this is a defective X chromosome and her mother can um, transfer any of this to normal X chromosomes and uh, here, what um, genotype going to be uh, of their daughter. And as long as there is one normal X chromosome, one normal X chromosome with normal gene for color blindness, their daughter should have normal vision. But uh, we see that one eye is colorblind and another with normal vision. How this might happen? And uh, for example, this is sperm, and here is a X chromosome. Of course, I wouldn't uh, draw uh, all the rest, 23 pairs of chromosomes. And here going to be X cell with normal. X chromosome, of course, X cell much larger than the sperm, about um, a hundred times probably, uh, but I would draw them uh, equal size here. And uh, when this uh, sperm penetrates uh, X cell, they form zygote, and both uh, X chromosome from the mother side and X chromosome from the father side are present in the zygote. Let this be um, first stage and this is second stage and as a third stage uh, this zygote would form would start to to replicate and uh, many new cells would be formed and of course each cell would have uh, both uh, chromosomes from the mother side and uh, from the father side but uh, in some cells later in the process of the development some of the cells uh, would turn off uh, uh, X chromosome from the father side, so a bar body would be formed in such cells. But in other cells, randomly, this is random process, uh, bar body would be formed from the X chromosome that was uh, received from the mother side. So um, bar body is um, X chromosome that is uh, turned off in the process of the dosage compensation. So, um, actually, as you see here, uh, new cell lines would be formed. In some ce cell lines uh, would be activated X chromosome from the father side, and in some cell lines would be active chromosome from the mother side. And so, um, 
organism would develop uh, into the embryo and into the uh, child that would grow and eventually what we will see let me draw a woman body here I'm not an artist, so please pardon my drawings. So this is woman's body and all women are a mosaic for the X chromosome in some uh, body parts uh, would be activated X chromosome uh, that uh, female got from her father and uh, in some uh, that is that she got from her mother for example from her mother's side uh, we can see for example such pattern it, this can be present at the different uh, parts of the body and for example this pattern and uh, in some cell lines would be activated uh, X chromosome that she got from her father. So pattern can be also very different in each woman. This is a random process and there is no two females with uh, same um, mosaic pattern and as you see here even in her face she might have some X chromosome that she got from her father and some X chromosome activated that she got from her mother's side and uh, of course uh, those X chromosomes that she got from her mother's side uh, she would have normal vision here on one eye but in those cells that uh, she got um, X chromosome from her father's side she would have uh, defective vision on that eye so this is explanation and explanation is that all women are chimeric and for the X chromosome or also it's called mosaic and if uh, one defective gene present on X chromosome from the father side even if it is um, recessive trait she might still um, she might still uh, have this trait but of course uh, as I um, showed here pattern can be very different and uh, just imagine that uh, for example her whole face would be formed from the cell lines uh, where uh, X chromosome turned it on that she got from her mother's side so she would have a normal vision but if uh, both her eyes would be formed from the cell lines that she got uh, uh, that uh, she has uh, X chromosome that she got from her father's side so she might even have uh, red green uh, color blindness on her both sides even though she ha this is trait is recessive and she got uh, normal X chromosome from her mother's side and on the other sli slide on the next slide I will show you uh, one more example and uh, probably you would be able now to solve this problem. And here is the second question. Would it be possible for a man who have one eye with normal color vision and one eye with color blindness? Uh, normally it is, it is not because if a person has a defective uh, gene on the X chromosome and a male has a X and Y chromosome and if one uh, gene is defective so he must 
have both eyes uh, with defective vision. So how this might happen? Uh, here is explanation. You would understand uh, probably instantly when I show this picture. And uh, this is uh, XXY syndrome that is called uh, Klinefelter syndrome when a person has extra X uh, chromosome. So how this might happen? For example, instead of uh, getting whether X or Y chromosome that determines the gender of the person, he he got two uh, due to mis disjunction. He got two uh, sex chromosome in the sperm from his father with a defective uh, uh, X chromosome and gene on this chromosome that stand for this color blindness and from his mother's side uh, there was one X chromosome that with uh, normal X uh, chromosome so when they got formed they had uh, this person had uh, X Y an extra X chromosome. So this is a uh, Klinefelter syndrome and uh, such person has uh, tall stature and f uh, slightly feminized physique and frontal baldness, breast development in 30% of the cases, osteoporosis, female type public hair and um, also he would show a uh, pattern as I explained it on the previous slide uh, some uh, X chromosome would be inactivated in uh, in some cell lines but would be active in the other cell lines for example here would be uh, cell lines with uh, normal chromosome that he got from his mother and also one eye wouldn't be affected and the other uh, eye uh, might be affected by the defective uh, gene that he got from his father's side. So this is uh, explanation how this might happen. Of course this is very rare case because uh, Klinefelter syndrome happens only in about uh, one in a 500 up to 1000 males, phenotypical uh, males that is born and uh, of course uh, color blindness is also rare disease so uh, both these two factors give us probability probably um, one in million or maybe more so this is uh, all for today thank you for your attention hopefully you find something interesting for you and new information. Uh, thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my new videos that I post every week and goodbye.